Teenage boys hang around the cemetery in Yemen's capital Sana'a every afternoon in the hope of landing some paid work. Ahmed Al Hamari is only 13. We usually wait for funeral processions to work. If no one has died, we just hang around the graves and play around here. 15-year-old Yasser Al Arbahi attends school for about three hours in the morning and spends afternoons searching for jobs. The morning after I wake up, I go to school at 8. I'm in the first grade of secondary school until 11.30. Then I go at my grandfather's house, sometimes to have lunch at his house, sometimes at my house. I stay up until the afternoon, then I go to the cemetery. If there's a grave that needs to be cleaned, I'll spray it down. I do the same thing every day through Thursdays. Then on Fridays, I sell water. Ahmed and Yasser attend school at least for a few hours each morning. About two million Yemeni children have dropped out of school since 2015, according to the United Nations. About 2,500 boys, some of them as young as 10, have been recruited to fight. And in some areas, more than half of the girls are married before the age of 15. Last year's report by UNICEF said more than 2,500 schools were out of use, with two-thirds damaged by attacks. 27% closed and 7% used for military purposes or as shelters for displaced people. Children's health is jeopardized by shortages of food and outbreaks of disease such as cholera. We had her tested and they said she was affected by cholera. Now she is getting treatment. She is getting better. Even in Sana'a, hospitals lack adequate supplies to treat patients. The situation is dire in some remote villages where children's lives are in danger from the effects of malnutrition. If this girl returns home, the problem will inevitably increase and she could suffer from increased tumors. She already has some tumors in her feet. Rights group Save the Children estimates that 85,000 Yemeni children under the age of five may have died of starvation. About 80% of the Yemeni population, about 24 million, is in need of humanitarian assistance. One million people have been displaced by fighting. Zlarica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.